guys, it's been a long wait, but Gears of War 3 is finally mantle kicking its way into stores. Last week we went over single player collectibles, but now it's time for multiplayer. There are a bunch of changes, so let IGN be your guide. All right, let's start with some of the new stuff. The hammer burst is a nice compromise for guys who like to aim down the sights. Clicking the analog stick to do it, it's actually the only weapon in Gears that has iron sights. This is a super precise weapon, but watch the ammo. You can burn through a clip really fast. Just regard it as a single shot rifle and you'll be set. The Retro Lancer is the vintage, more pointy version of the old Lancer. Damage output is higher, but both accuracy and recoil is worse. Therefore, you should fire in shorter bursts. Also, if you hold down B, you'll be able to charge with a bayonet. Yep, told you it was more pointy. <laughs> The sawed-off shotgun is super powerful, but also super limited. You should basically regard this as a melee weapon because it has no range at all. However, it makes it up with a giant punch if you're close enough. Just don't miss. The reload time sucks. Next we have the Digger, a gun that digs. This guy is fun to use against people who stay in cover all of the time. Okay, moving on, Gears 3 multiplayer has a bunch of challenges and unlocks. Something helpful to know is that you can also gain multiplayer levels and unlock skins offline. If you feel like a cheat, set up a private match, turn the bot difficulty to casual, up the number of respawns, and go to a small map like Checkout. This is a good way to experiment around and unlock multiplayer executions for each of your guns. If you want to work on a particular gun, press the back button on the map selection screen and set all the guns to the one you want. Anyway, private matches may not be entirely honest, but it's still a good way to work on your medals, ribbons, and mutator unlocks. For example, the Hail Mary ribbon has you kill someone with a boom shot from 200 feet away. Now if you do that 100 times, you'll unlock the Big Explosions mutator, which is a modifier that can be used in the game. Note that you do not need to finish a private match for your progress to count. And finally, there's a lot of general little tricks that you may remember from the Gears 3 beta. Hitting right bumper will highlight weapons on the map and where your teammates are. Likewise, hitting in your left analog stick while aiming at an enemy will spot them for all of your teammates. And finally, you can stun enemies in cover by performing a mantle kick. Simply vault over a piece of cover while they're decked behind it. This opening should give you just enough time to finish the job. Okay, that's a ton of info to process, but it doesn't end there. Head over to IGN.com's wiki guide to see more tips, tricks, and full video walkthroughs of the game. And if you have a Twitter, be sure to follow us at IGN. I'm Jessica Chobot, and we'll see you here next time on Strategize.